This is Keith from Far North FPV, and today we're going to be reviewing something for all you Tiny Boot fans out there. I know you've all probably heard of the B Brains, how you can run Beta Flight, Clean Flight, your favorite flavor of uh, whatever firmware you like out there. A lot of people have heard of the Acro Whoop. This is the Acro Whoop, I believe, B V2 from Furious FPV. We're going to take a look at this, see how it compares to the B Brain, as well as the unique features that are on this controller versus the B Brain, as well as possibly get some flight footage in. So, without further ado, Let's go ahead and check it out and see what we got. What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about tiny whoops. And uh, you can see here, we have two tiny whoops. One's got a B brain, one has this. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you what we got in this bag here first. You can see it's from Furious FPV. And this is, let's see if we can get it to focus on it. Oh, probably not because of the lights. There we go. Acro whoop. So this is going to be an acro whoop controller. And now, I've flown both the Acro Whoop and the B Brains, and I gotta say, they're close, but there's some differences that makes the Acro Whoop stand out far beyond the B Brain, in my opinion. So, let's go ahead and get this guy out of here. Alright. There we go. So first off, it comes with this. It has a little pigtail. Um, some of the cameras that are coming out these days, the all-in-ones, they come with a, basically, it's a battery-style connector. You can see, get it to focus there for you guys. There you go. You can see it's just a battery-style connector. It also comes with all your mounting hardware. You got all the little bells and whistles. You got all the little rubber guys in there. You got the screws. And then inside here, we actually have the Acro Whoop. Now this is the Far Sky version, so, this will bind up to your Tyrannus, XJT modules, whatever you may have. Alright, forget this. There we go. So, here we go. And first off, you can see this little blue thing right here. That's actually the integrated Far Sky receiver. Here's your little motor ports. And on the top part, here is the top of your flight controller. Now, one thing I do like about it, the gyro is dead center right here. I can point to it right there. Another part is, those of you who are familiar with the B-Brains, you'll notice right away that there is a USB connector on the top. And that's one thing that I do love about this. So this is a, just a quick comparison, this is an RKH frame, it's a carbon fiber frame with the B-Brain. Just got a little, uh, what model is this? It's the FX798T, I believe it's a 40 channel um, VTX, 25 milliwatts, like all, soldered directly to the board there. One thing I hate about this, I've removed both, or one of the battery connectors, right, or the battery support you can see here, there's only one. Um, it's to do with that stupid USB plug. I do not like this USB plug on the bottom. I, it, it gets in the way, it's a pain in the ass. I just, uh, I really, really wish they wouldn't have put that in there. That's one thing I do love about the Furious, as you can see, it's on the top. And I'll show you here, this is my little tiny whoop I fly with. It's a LHI frame, it has, um, Crazy Pony Special Sauce Motors, I think they're 19 th or 17,000 kV, these guys are. And it also has the Acro Whoop inside. And the nice part you can see right here. So this controller, or the camera that I have, came with this little Y plug. So you can see there's a little Y plug here. And that has the battery connector here. It has two connectors, one goes to the Acro Whoop and one goes to the camera. That way I don't have to solder. Now there is solder points on this board to where you can actually solder the cameras directly to it. You even have on the sides here, right by the motors, you can even run LEDs if you decided to. Um, I don't really have a desire to do that, but if you did, uh, you could. As you can see, there's no USB plug getting in the way of the frame. I don't have to modify it and have to cut it and have to do anything. I just basically stuck it in there, bolted it down, hooked everything up, and it worked. Now right here with this black mark, or this little mark, see if we can get it to show it. Maybe right here by my finger. That's about where your USB plug is. So one thing I would recommend doing: go ahead and plug this puppy in, get it all updated, get it kind of set up, and with your transmitter and everything prior to actually putting it in here. If you use a canopy, um, this is a Crazy Pony a AIO 25 milliwatt 40 channel um, all-in-one camera. It's get the VTX and everything. It's had a rough life. You can see the hot glue kind of holds the antenna on. Otherwise, it uh, gives up on life pretty quickly but 
go back to this guy. Um, one thing I will tell you, here is your bind button, this little guy. So on this, I can actually get to my bind button. It's actually right there. I don't know if you can see it, see if we can get closer. There we go. Right by my finger here, it's down in there. You're easily accessible by screwdriver, plastic, toothpick, whatever you decide to do. Um, but this will bind directly to your Furious modules, transmitter, Tyrannus, whatever you have. Um, I will tell you, there is, I've noticed a huge difference in range between the B-Brain and the Acker Whoop. Um, I do, I've had both of these, I've tuned them out pretty well. I've started with stock Betaflight um, PIDs and <clears throat> Stock, they fly similar. I do like the Acker Whoop a little bit more. I think it, it works a little bit better. It feels a little more locked into me. The B Brain, we've I've tweaked quite a bit. Um, it just it doesn't feel as responsive. It doesn't feel as locked in as what I like or what I'm used to. It does fly. It might be because of the frame, but I I've, so far I haven't had a really good um, go with the B Brains here. I'm not too impressed with them. All I can tell you, this Furious Acker Whoop. This guy is well worth your money. If you've never heard of one or you're kind of on the fence of buying one, stop listening. Go buy yourself. Go buy it right now. It's well worth your money. You're not going to be disappointed. And I think the biggest thing that I really like, just me personally, is the USB plug is on the top there. So I hope you guys like what you've seen. Um, if there's something that you'd like me to review or have, have any questions about the things that you've seen in my videos, please let me know in the comments. Just let me know how I'm doing. If you say what's up, what's going on. Um, nice review. Just something in the comments. Let me know how I'm doing. I'd like to hear from you guys. And as, as always, don't like, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, if you already subscribed, thank you very much for that. But uh, until next time, guys, um, this is the Furious Acro Whoop from Furious FPV. Guys, I hope you liked what you saw with the Acker Whoop versus B Brain. Like I said, I do really like the B Brain. It is a great controller. However, the differences between the B Brain and the Acker Whoop, the Acker Whoop, in my opinion, just kills it. It flies so much better. It's easier to tune, and it is a better all-around controller, in my opinion. So once again, this is the Acker Whoop B2 from Furious FPV. If you haven't heard about it, check it out. The link will be in the description below. If you have any questions, please let me know. As well as, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Share this video with your friends. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have a good day.